In this video, I'm discussing a robot for autism and learning, and we're going to be unboxing it and checking it out and really getting a, a feel for this thing. It, it's going to be good. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos all about this kind of stuff. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below and follow me if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram. So I was contacted by the awesome people who create the QT robot. Now QT robot is a learning robot with um, made by Lux AI um, from Luxembourg. They're an artificial intelligence company. This robot was sent to me by the company to check out to basically um, see what it's all about. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to unbox the, the robot to talk to you guys, show you guys what this robot looks like and what it does. And then also um, do a video uh, follow-up once I've used this and used some of its training and then see what the, the outcome was basically. So they were happy enough to sponsor this video. So thank you so much for that. Now let's get into this very, very quickly. Robots. Are robots going to rule the world? Probably, but not this robot. This robot is definitely not going to rule the world, but it may help you. Now this robot stands at about two and a bit feet tall. It actually comes with a wooden secure base that you can actually secure this thing to a wooden base that makes sure that it doesn't fall over. One thing I will mention, looking at the surroundings of this thing, the casing, the, the cabling and stuff like that, this robot is very robust. It has a very uh, strong material. You know, your kid isn't going to break this by playing with it, which is really, really good. Now I'm going to get into the uh, what it does and stuff like that in just a minute, but I'm just kind of going over some of the, uh, the exteriors that I'm looking at when I'm taking it out of the box. Now, in the box, inside the box, you have the robot himself. Then you have this, uh, obviously this plate that he sits on, this like wooden plate thing that he sits on. Then you also have two compartments and each one of these compartments com contains two different things. One contains two Lenovo kind of small tablet computers and the other holds all the cabling and wiring and stuff for the computers and the actual robot. Basically, you have these two computers, these two, um, you know, tablet computers, one is a uh, an educator, the other is a learner. Now the learner one is stuck on a screen that you set up uh, that just locks on the screen so that it's just literally the interface so you can uh, you can interact with the robot using this interface. Now the other, the educator one, is a big tablet that you have all of the stuff uh, that is loaded on there before you kind of uh, open, open the box, you know, from the factory, from the company, they load it on with all the things that you've pre-agreed. Now, not only that, you, um, uh, uh, you get kind of like a um, uh, like a, a coaching call with them when you purchase the robot, and also because there's a subscription fee for this as well uh, to help kind of uh, keep it on track and help you keep on track. You actually get um, uh, with the subscription, you get to talk to an actual therapist every single month, and then they talk through the plans and the different things that you get with this robot. Right, you literally get it out of the box, you turn on the robot, you turn on both of the tablets, then one tablet you load up. Uh, which is straight on the desktop there. You load up the, the educator part, then you load up the learner one. And then basically from these two tablets, all you have to do is set one down with the person who is sitting with the robot and then the other you have control of and then you go through a system. Now, this is very, very good for things like schools or educators or carers or caregivers and parents who are homeschooling or wanting to do extra stuff with their kid who's on the spectrum at home. Because let's face it, you know, I have issues with facial recognition and emotional regulation and this robot can definitely help in those areas. Now, you don't need any technical expertise to set this thing up. It's literally just plug and play. Everything is loaded on there for you. One thing I would, look at though is just making sure that you have uh, read the small kind of instruction manual that comes with it and any troubleshooting uh, just shoot the company an email and they'll email you straight back like I did. The pre-made materials that comes with it um, are uh, basically to create the ease of life of being a parent right you know it's aimed at having a, uh, a parent or a caregiver who has a child on the spectrum and then you need to help them and develop in certain ways which is you know, I wish I had this access when I was a kid and my parents would have had a lot easier time with me, but you know, hey ho, that happens. So like I said, you pick all the curriculums beforehand, they load it all on, combined with the robot and the sessions you have in there, to me is like a new um, 
era of therapy for autism, which I think is, is great and much needed. You know, I think there's a lot of outdated therapies. So when you go to their website, you can actually book a demo with them and they will set up a call with you and then they'll go through a demo with you online. So you don't have to buy anything. Like if you're interested in this robot and you want to check it out, you can just go to their website, book a demo and hey presto, you get all of this cool juicy stuff uh, and they tell you about it and then they ship it out to you if you want to continue with that. Now, the reason that this is so effective and robots and robot learning is so effective for people on the autism spectrum is because autistic people have issues with um, knowing judgment and people's kind of uh, abilities to want to help them and knowing that the, the underlying kind of uh, theme of what a person is thinking, whereas robots right? Versus people, a robot is completely non-judgmental and it just is there. It is just something. Now, ever since I was a little kid, I was obsessed with robots. I had Tamagotchis. I was obsessed with AIBO and the Asimo robot and all of these awesome robots that I saw coming out of, uh, you know, Japan and, and other kind of really creative people. I was absolutely obsessed with robot wars when I was a kid and other types of robotics and I was really into it. I built a few robots myself. Having the ability to see a robot and learn with a robot would have been amazing for me because, you know, it's something that's interesting because it speaks my language in a way, you know, it doesn't have this judgmental kind of idea of the world. It just sit there and wants to help you progress, which is great. And which is what we're all trying to do on the uh, autism spectrum is trying to progress and learn as best we can. So having this opportunity for a child would be amazing. But then again, yes, this is targeted at parents and, and, and caregivers for children. But at the end of the day, when I was testing this thing out, this was so impressive to me that I'm going to do a follow-up video on this. I wanted to test this out myself for a week and see what kind of stuff I can learn from it. But even from the demo I had with the company, that I was learning a lot more about facial recognitions, like smiling and, and being angry and being cross and, and seeing those on the robot, which was pretty impressive. So I'm going to do a full-scale rundown of my experience with this and how I actually you know, what value I got from it and being genuine with that. If you like to learn more about this robot and reach out to the company to book a demo, all the information is in the description of this video and on the show notes of this podcast, if you're listening on the podcast. Now, if you have any questions, reach out to them. They're super awesome. Very, very cool company. And I was blown away by how impressive this robot was. So definitely make sure that you leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts on it. Check out the company's website and don't forget to check out the next video, which will be next week on this, uh, how much value I got from this robot as an adult, not just, you know, a kid uh, who, who would have loved this, but as an adult who would have loved this. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.